Yo, what is up everyone? It's your boy Andrew here with Unashamed Encouragement, uh, bringing you just a daily verse, daily prayer, uh, just looking to encourage you throughout your days, throughout your weeks, and point you to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Glad you're here, and uh, let's jump into the Word today. All right, we're going to be reading from Mark chapter 9 starting at verse 43. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It's better to enter eternal life with only one hand than to go down into the unquenchable fires of hell with two hands. If your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It's better to enter eternal life with only one foot than to be thrown into the hell with two feet. And if your eyes causes you to sin, gouge it out. It's better to enter the kingdom of God with only one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell where the maggots never die and the fire never goes out. Yeah. That's powerful. And that's radical. Jesus was a radical guy. But sometimes in life, don't we need something radical to get the point of cross? Now, just so that we're all clear, Jesus is not teaching to cut off your foot and cut off your hand and gouge at your eyes. Let's be perfectly clear about that. It's not what this is teaching. Okay? But what this is teaching, he's, 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 he's comparing how terrible sin is to our lives. It's detrimental. So in order to get into heaven, we must disengage. We must cut off our relationship with sin. And sin can sometimes be so close to our hearts. We, we, we get so comfortable with sin, don't we? We try to room up next to it. Bunk beds, you know? Oh, well, I'll just dabble in a little sin here, dabble in a little sin there. No. No. And that's why Jesus was speaking so plainly in this and so strictly, saying, look, get rid of it. Whatever means possible, we got to eradicate the sin in our lives. So what are you struggling with right now? Really, look within your heart. Look within. Because a lot of times, especially in, in these Christian circles, you know, we can kind of go through the motions and we can kind of keep things hidden and we can kind of put on a face and we can put on a mask and we can say things are good and we're, we're doing all right. When really we go home and we're struggling deeply with some sort of sin. I only say this and I only share this because that was my life. That was my life for so many years. I would I would put on the whole Christian face. I would go to church, shake hands, smile, pray with people, love on people, read the Bible. All the while, I was struggling immensely with sexual sin. So I don't know what your struggle is right now. But Jesus is very clear. We gotta cut it out of our lives. You know, we can't do it on our own. We can't. I tried. Just led to more failure. We gotta surrender. We gotta say, Jesus, here I am. Broken. Weak. Heal. Working. Cry out. We gotta repent. We gotta repent. We gotta turn from our sins. God. We got to surround ourselves with other men, women who are full of faith, on fire for Jesus. And we got to surround ourselves with, with other like minded individuals who can hold us up, who can support us in tough times. So that's just my encouragement for you all listening. It's a battle, it's a fight. We got to armor up. But know that there is hope. And know that God is working through it all. So let me pray over you. Dear Heavenly Father, I just pray 
I pray for anyone, Lord, that's struggling with the secret sin right now, Lord. Something that they know is wrong, that's just been sitting there festering within their souls for days, weeks, months, or even years, Lord. And I just pray today is the day, Lord, that you just reveal that sin to them. You just make it so plain, so clear that they can just eradicate it from their lives, Lord. That they can just surrender that up to you and say, Lord, I'm, I'm giving this up to you because I no longer want this sin holding me back, Lord. So please just work in their lives, Lord. Work in their lives. Bring people, bring accountability, bring others in their lives, Lord, who can stand with them, who can lift them up. Just how, uh, you know, the priest or whomever would, would hold up, you know, Moses' hands. Lord, allow others to come alongside of us and hold us up as well, Lord, as we, as we open up and we confess and we repent and we turn from our sins, Lord. We praise you. We thank you for all that you are. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Love you guys. Um, yeah, I hope you're encouraged. Smash the like button, comment, um, share, subscribe. And uh, look, we'll be out here encouraging, bringing love, bringing truth, bringing hope, bringing faith. It's your boy. Peace.